I look at the initial move, it's like, is there certain things in the initial move that we can include that would be advantageous for setting yourself up for a more successful drive phase? So for me, I'm a, I'm a little biased with a, a forward momentum in the initial move. So just to give you context on that, like we look at Kimbrel here, okay? And you're gonna see it super subtle, but as he lifts his leg, watch how his body just starts to drift towards the home to, towards his target right this now what in what this is doing is now it's going to then increase his acceleration towards home plate it's going to increase his acceleration rate into his drive phase which then is just more force and energy to be blocked by the lead leg to send up right talk about that kinetic chain notice also as he enters his drive phase here he never really shifts back, right? He doesn't defy gravity, right? Defying gravity would be like coming down from leg lift and you see a lot of guys that like shoot backwards. This is where we get, it gets a little bit tricky because there's always this fine line of like, okay, are you defying a ton of forward acceleration? Are you defying gravity down the slope? Or are you just using a tilt of your trunk or a counter rotation of your trunk to help load up your drive phase or your drive leg? All right, dudes, Robbie Rowe here. Thank you for watching that video. If you're interested in booking your own mechanical analysis, you can click that link right there. Also tell you a little bit about the service and what it entails. Hit that link right there. Subscribe, please. You can also check out that video right there, which is related to the video that you just watched if you want to get some more context on that. All right, guys, much love. God bless. Till next time. See ya. Strike three, you're out!